Let's take a look at uh, matrix determinants on a TI-92 calculator. And we want to find the determinant of this. And I already have this written down on my tablet. So we're trying to find that. Well, first thing we need to do is we need to input uh, this into our calculator. And, um, okay, drawing a blank here. Oh, there's my backspace. There it is. Okay. Clean that out. And we want to input in the matrix. So I'm going to do my apps. And then you see there's a data matrix editor. I can simply press the sixes in front of it, and then that'll choose that option. And then I want to choose three for new. Now, um, you see it asked me for, for data. And if I do a right arrow key, it pops up with this, and I can choose matrix. So I can down arrow to matrix and press enter on it. Now the folder is um, main, that's fine. Now I want to get down to the, the letter here. And I'm going to put it, put it into A. Um, and lowercase a is fine, I guess. And row dimension. So if we do a down arrow, this is a 3 by 3. Three rows, so do 3 for the row dimension. And number of columns is 3, so I do 3 for the column dimensions. And now I can just press enter and then enter again. And it will bring me over to here. And now I'm going to put in my numbers. So I do 3 enter, 1 enter, 2 enter, 4 enter, 5 enter, 6 enter, 7 enter, 8 enter, and 9 enter. Let me double check my numbers. 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, now I want to exit out. And uh, there's different ways you can do that. Sometimes clear does it, but I think clear just clear this entry. We can do a quit. Um, sometimes escape gets you out. But if I do uh, second escape, then that'll X me out for sure. Okay, now we want to go into our math uh, menu. And you see that's above the 5. So I'm going to do my second 5. And it has different, different listing. You see matrix is the fourth one. So press the numbers in front of it. Press the 4. And then a bunch of different options pop up, and you see there's a DET. And there's a 2 next to it, so I press the 2. Well, we need to tell it the determinant of what. And um, let's see. If I go back into my math, you see over here under the matrix, we have all the different, different options, but there's no names associated with it. Uh, so we press escape twice. If we just simply press A, and I'll put a closing parentheses, and then press enter, you see it comes back and tells me my um, uh, determinant is negative 9. So this is equal to negative 9. Now that's different than uh, the other Texas Instruments that you maybe have used before, um, because the names was right underneath the, ma the matrix menu. But like I pointed out to you, under the math, if I do second five, matrix, all it gives us over here is the functions, not names. Um, let me see if that's a true statement. I never have scrolled down here. Backdrops. Nope, none down there. This one's a lot simpler. Um, it's really designed to have like a keyboard uh, style. So just by... Um, just by pressing our A, it's stored in there. Now, if I pressed A and did enter, we can see our original matrix. So it kind of gives you um, immediate feedback like that. You don't have to go into the matrix menu to view it or anything like that, which you don't in T83 or T84 either. But anyway, that's how you find determinant on a TI-92 calculator.